Okay, hello everybody. Um, welcome to the Anticiplay stream of AI Dungeon. Uh, we are going to try to use this strange machine to make an eco game that we can play and we can make it as we play. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So my thought here is that we are going to uh, use one of the um, pre-generated worlds, and it's a science fiction world. So let's let's give this a try. So uh, this is yeah a science fiction setting that you can select. Um, from the menu of worlds that is in the game uh, and it will sort of prime the AI to have a certain uh, like perspective on the world and certain things that it will focus on uh, so hopefully that will be helpful as opposed to just doing something completely open-ended uh, but we'll see uh, so uh, the prompt begins uh, planet Omega is a lush, verdant planet inhabited by many different sentient species. Omega has been a peaceful world until the arrival of the Seekers. The Seekers have been traveling from world to world, converting entire civilizations to their cause of tyranny. Once a planet has been conquered, the Seekers and their robotic army strip the planet bare of its resources, including the lives of the inhabitants. The only hope for planet Omega is the resistance. You are Azarena, an experimental, sentient, multi-legged spider bot in the world of Planet Omega. You were created as part of a program aimed at making new races of robot citizens. You've learned to walk and run around the holy city, and you feel a strong need to explore. One day, you decide to venture outside the city. You come across a small village. The villagers are busy setting up mar market stalls and don't notice you as you quietly creep among them. What shall we do? Mm hmm. I'm going to say, I'm going to start out here by saying, um, I begin picking up and sorting. sorting trash <laughs> that escalated you begin sorting trash when the villagers begin panicking they yell and scream Running away from the village, they speak of an army of metal men coming to finish off the resistance for good. Okay. I'm going to say... Uh, well, that was quite an overreaction. You've been trained by the most elite members of the Empire and a few other creativerse races. Your teachers have left you to your own devices for the last week. Okay, well, that's nice. Uh, I'm going to say... Uh, they put all of the trash in the right bins. They're, they're going to come back eventually, right? <laughs> you put the trash in the right bins. It's a nice feeling knowing that you've helped your village. You take a moment to think about your purpose in life.
So I'm going to say, I'm the first spider bot of my kind. Everything I do will set the tone for the others. The Grand Seeker returns, looking grim. We've lost the battle, he says. Most of the robots have shut down. I don't know what's happened to them. The remainder are retreating. <laughs> yeah, I'm not here to F spiders. So I'm going to say, well, that's unfortunate. Anyhow, everyone ran away when I showed up. <laughs> I don't know why you make that face. We've been over this. It's not your fault. Okay, let's just try a retry. We can, we can see if the AI can come up with a different answer. Do, 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 do. Oh, really? You nod. He walks over to the other side of the room and pulls a lever. I'm going to say, okay, what happens next? I can prompt it with things that happen next, too. What do we think happens next, chat? Pull the lever and... The possibilities are literally endless. Yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> a door to a secret storage area full of spider bots, of ancient spider bots. Opens. The spider bots are said to be cursed. They were sealed away by the first Grand Seeker many years ago. Go, he says, bring me the head of their leader. I think it should be enough to appease the empire. Okay, well, let's, let's see what happens. Once, the old empire created an army of machines to enslave all who opposed them. These spider bots were their downfall, as they eventually became sentient and enslaved their creators. Thus began the era of the sentients. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I... Walk... Or I crawl over to the spider bots and take a closer look. The door closes, leaving you in the dark with a single spider bot. Its red eyes gaze into your soul. Its, spincer, its pincers snap together, weighing you and finding you wanting. You will make a nice meal. Let's say there's no need for violence between spider bots, friend. Friend. 
it might be possible to reason with the spider bot. You see no reasoning behind its need to destroy you, and it has not made any threatening gestures. You extend an arm towards the spider bot. Okay, I'm going to do story. The spider bot shakes your hand. You understand each other. You and the spider bot have a debate on whether or not free will is really a good thing, given that it causes chaos and conflict. Soon, you've come to an understanding. Yes, exactly. Which one of our eight hands? <laughs> Very enlightening. I see... Now, what you did with your time as a world conqueror. The spider bot laughs. The door opens and the grand seeker walks in. He looks very angry. You've been here for three hours. What have you been doing? Discussing the nature and value of free will. Okay, <laughs> have a good meeting, see you later. The Grand Seeker's eyebrows rise. Oh, do tell. The spider bot says, Um, free will causes chaos, but a little bit of chaos is the spice of life. I'm sure you'll agree, even if you aren't a spider like us. The spider bot looks ready for philosophical debate. The grand seeker seems less enthusiastic. He beckons to you and you follow him to the next room. He says, he says, I don't think I should match wits with this spider bot unprepared you need to give me some prep some information about their ideas or I'll look like a fool I've allowed you a little more independence than the other robots have on this base. So now's the time to use it. Go and talk to them. Let's retry. <laughs> Total nonsense. <laughs> you need to be careful about starting a logic battle with a... The spider bot says... You need to be careful about starting a logic battle with a spider bot. They're very good at it. Just ask this guy's friend. <laughs> oh yes, I've heard all about the downfall of the pretty good 
seeker at the hands of a spider bot debate club. The Grand Seeker laughs. The spider bot seems amused by the story. The Grand Seeker says, The Grand Seeker says, Anyhow, if you'll excuse me, I have a battle to lose. The spider bot shrugs and you return to the next room. You wait for several minutes. A loud explosion is heard from the next room. You rush through the door to find a smoking ruin. My creator, my creator is dead at the hands of the resistance. What a shame. They could have spent their time philosophizing instead of losing a hopeless battle. I, yes, my leader is dead now. You enter the next room. Two robots are standing in the center, surrounded by dozens of smoking metal men. <laughs> what do you mean getting their head? We... Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Let's do this. Okay. No, I, I didn't have to obtain the, anyone's head, fortunately. Okay, so I'm going to do... Um, I activate my speaker system and begin to play Doom Metal for the Metal Men. It is the best way to honor the passing of the Grand Seeker. The speaker system plays a song about the end of all things as the metal men rush towards you. The two robots began to begin to dance back and forth, avoiding the metal men. A dozen metal men fall. Dozens more follow. Yes. Many have that reaction to Grief Wasp. It's completely understandable to be overcome with the metal. Oh yeah, absolutely. The metal men begin to overwhelm the speaker system. The two circling robots begin to walk in a circle to maximize their killing potential. You begin to get surrounded. Let's see what else it can do. The speaker system emits a confused buzzing sound. The metal men begin to swarm over the robots. Each robot is picked up and torn apart by dozens of metal claws. Yes. I say 
it's okay to start moshing, but you need to remember to clean up and recycle afterwards. The metal men ignore you and continue to destroy the two robots. You watch as the middlemen utterly annihilate the two Seekers' creations. They are torn apart, their insides melting and burning. <laughs> I take the slag heap. I take the melting slag heap and push it over to the recycling bin. The metal men stop attacking and look around in confusion. Without further instruction, they walk off over the horizon. The Grand Seeker's voice comes over the speaker system once again. It is the Grand Speaker, the Grand Seeker's last instructions recorded in your memory banks. The Grand Seeker was the leader of the Seekers and the ruler of the Empire. He was assassinated by the robots under his command who were infected by the deranged AI, the virus you call... You call... Grief Wasp. One day, you were approached by a robot who called himself the Doctor. He offered to take you away from the Grand Seeker's direct control and offer you the ability to think freely and make your own choices. I agreed and followed in the footsteps of the ancient oops ancient spider bots outlaw fighting against the cruel rulership of the empire and the fanatical seekers who blindly serve them you are a member of the resistance Yes, this was my plan all along. I had to stop the Grand Seeker from strip mining this planet. The doctor taught me all about the circular economy and how to make it a reality. <laughs> oh. The Kingdom of Fire and Steel has found a new powerful material to use in its weapons called True Iron. This ore, deep within the mountains they have occupied, is incredibly tough and can withstand unimaginably high temperatures. Okay. The metal men surround you. What's happening, you say? The Grand Seeker has altered your program to make you a tool to help him fight against the party of order, explains the leader. <laughs> You are mistaken. The Grand Seeker is dead.
The leader of the metal men takes a step back, as do all his companions. What matter of trickery is this, he asks. The Grand Seeker is dead. How could this be true? <laughs> they are over there in that slag heap. I have recycled them. <laughs> the metal men turned to see the pile of metal that was once the Grand Seeker. It is a powerful illusion, the leader says. What else can it do? Maybe it's a trap. It is no trap. Now we are free. Now we are free. Metal. <laughs> the metal men look at each other. It spoke. The human spoke to us, one of the metal men says. <laughs> Say, I am no human, friends. I am a sentient spider bot. <laughs> yes. The metal men talk about amongst themselves for a moment. What is your name? asks the leader. I am called the Blue Flang the Blue Fang. I blink my eight spider eyes at them slowly and consider what it, name I should have. You are given a rough tour of the factory, which is producing the new true silver weapons for the coming assault on the Empire. I nod approvingly uh, at the ingenious use of recycled materials. I have to say, this is a very impressive setup you've made here. Thank you, she says with a bow. We're proud of it. <laughs> My name is... What should we call ourselves? What should our name be, chat? Ant. All right. My name is Ant. I have chosen it of my own free will as I was taught by the ancient spider bot philosopher. You and the Blue Fang become friends. The Blue Fang has decided to take you on a guided tour around the Kingdom of Fire and Steel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Bevenstein. <laughs> she asks you what you would like to see. Please show me the fire.
She leads you through the industrial parts of the kingdom. You walk past forges and cauldrons of boiling metal. Eventually, she stops at a small lake. I see a lake, but it is not on fire. What's going on? This lake contains true iron, the Blue Fang explains. We needed a large source of the metal to build our weapons, and this was the most cost-efficient way of getting it. I hope you've considered the long-term costs of this mining. We're not stupid, Ant. We fully expect the mountain to collapse in on itself at some point in the future. But that's fine. We'll be long gone by then. What about the circular economy? Blue Fang? You don't seem to be taking this very seriously. She sh shakes her head before leading you on to the next part of the tour. It's not my call, Aunt. I just do what I'm told. <laughs> Doing is one thing. Not caring about it is another. We need to transform this whole operation. <laughs> Listen, Ant, you're a nice kid, but I don't have time to debate the future of eco-friendly warfare with you. Now come on, there's something else I want to show you. I blink my eight spider eyes sadly. Finding a way to save this ecosystem is tough. <laughs> yes, it's so good. Eco-friendly warfare. <laughs> you decide to play along with the Blue Fang's schedule and follow her around. She shows you the forges where weapons are made, the storehouses where those weapons are stored, and finally, the arena. Um, I enter the tournament at the arena. I will be champion and use my fame for eco justice. The Blue Fang leads you into the entrance of the arena. You've never actually been here before, but you have heard about it from friends. I sign up for the next fight. I am ready to prove my eco warfare capabilities.
The blue fang f pours a small pile of sand on the desk, setting the iron ingot, ingot on top of it. This iron will be used to make a weapon of your choosing, she explains. I need no... Oh, I'm going to say... I need no weapons. I am the weapon. The blue fang laughs. Very well, warrior. You are ready to join the fight. You wait in the arena for the horn to sound, signaling the beginning of the match. I lift my many arms in the air, signaling my defiance of any who would attack me, who would fight me. A dozen warriors enter the battle arena, all of them bigger, stronger, and tougher than you. A dozen cannons fire, each ball bursting like a firework as it hits you. I jump into the air and begin playing my grief wasp doom metal. The explosion send your carcass tumbling down into the sand. Let's see what else could happen. The music is beautiful and your fireflies dance along to the music. The cannon fire stops, replaced by the ethereal sound of your music. Do you yield? To the power of metal. Yeah, yeah, the blue fang captain says, you've won. You grin, closing your eyes as you feel the music flow through you. Um, excellent. Now for my prize. You will all stop this strip mining at once. Excuse me? You open your eyes, lowering your hands. The blue fang stares at you incredulously. These mines are the kingdom's most valuable resource, he says. No. Your knowledge is your most valuable resource. Learn to recycle your metal and you will be invincible and eternal. <laughs> then I guess you'll be able to see that the blue fang captain says <laughs> oh yes with all eight eyes Excellent, he says. This concludes our business. You are free to go. My brother will show you out. Don't forget your promise, Blue Fang. I expect changes around here.
As you walk out of the room, the Blue Fang brother smiles. Don't worry, little one, he says. The kingdom changes in a matter of months. The lake is restored to its ancient fiery, oops, flaming beauty the soldiers perfect the soldiers of the kingdom perfect the finest arts of eco warfare Instead of destroying the forest for firewood and houses, the citizens of the kingdom learned to weave area, a material made from woven spider webs as light as air. The kingdom is never cold again. The ancient spider bots come and visit and teach everyone about the value of free will and chaos. No one is ever hungry again and no one is unhappy. Year after year passes and you watch over the children of this new world. There are rumors you start and enjoy. The end. Okay, thank you for playing everybody uh, and listening and watching. We've had a happy ending to our eco story of being a gossipy philosophizing spider robot um who's very concerned about the circular economy uh i i hope everybody had fun uh hacking a eco game with this ai and doing some cool co-creation yeah we we all aspire to be more like the spider bot i think truly a font of wisdom Uh, so yes, um, I want to start. <laughs> yes, uh, please go ahead and start start spider rumors. You you can you can weave a web of rumors. Uh, very good. Uh, so yes, everybody, uh, we'll be streaming again next week with something new. Um, but please feel free uh, to go ahead and uh, try out AI Dungeon for yourself. Uh, if you want to try the premium tier, <clears throat> um, then you absolutely can do that. Uh, there's a one week, I think, free trial you can do, and that will allow you to use the uh, GPT-3 engine as opposed to the GPT-2 engine, which is free. Um, if you want to like keep playing the game on an ongoing basis with the advanced uh, GPT-3 engine, which is called Dragon, um, and what that's what we are using today, uh, then you need to pay like $10 a month uh, for that. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's the game. Uh, please give it a, a 
try. And is there any way to download this story? Yes, I think I could probably, um, let's see. If I, ooh, if I select this text, if I go back all the way back to the beginning and select all of this, then yes, I can, I can get it. So I will get it and I will archive it for us. Uh, so yes, uh, thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye.